Hey everyone, it's Christine with Indigo Wings and I am bringing you the Twin Flame general reading for the week of January 21st through the 27th. Um, as always, uh, you know, since this is a general reading, take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's not the message for you. Don't worry about it. Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if this reading does resonate with you, if it feels like I'm talking directly to you, then I might be the reader for you. So uh, check the information in the description box below to see how you can book a reading with me. So what was really cool about uh, pulling the cards this week um, is that I got a lot of very similar cards to last week. A lot of similar cards in the same places. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to jump in. But I just kind of wanted to start by letting you guys know that um, there's some very similar themes taking place for the week ahead. Um, oh, and one of the cards dropped. Okay. So, starting with the feminine, three cards jumped out for the beginning of the reading. And if you remember, this card was in the same spot. So we have dedicated effort, we have clarity of belief, and we have Blossom. And so I, I feel like, you know, the feminine are still in that place of working on themselves and knowing that they really need to be putting the effort into themselves. And there's still this, I feel like there's still this kind of inner battle, inner struggle going on for the feminine that, you know, it's like they know that, um, you know, they have to kind of figure out what they want. They have clarity of belief. They have to let go of something that's close to their heart so that they can blossom and so that they can move into the place that they are meant to move into. Uh, but they're being held back. They're holding themselves back. They have the two of air. You are having a hard time making the decision to do this, to move forward. Um, you know, maybe some of you are, you know, having a hard time jumping with both feet into focusing fully on yourself. Maybe you're just kind of like dipping your toes to test the waters, but you need to you need to just make the decision and just do it. So that's what I'm seeing for the feminine. What I'm seeing for the masculine is they have seek. So, you know, they're still really um, being very internal at this point, focusing uh, within trying to figure out wh what they want, where you know where they're going, um, they're really focusing inward. Uh, so many of you who are dealing with a masculine twin are probably not getting a lot of communication or getting less than what you normally get. The two clarifying cards that I pulled. Uh, we pulled the Queen of Earth and the Knight of Earth. And the message that I'm getting from these two cards is that he's trying to figure out how he can get the things done that he needs to get done and take care of all of the people around him. Like, he's trying to figure out how to get everything done. And I do feel that um, finances and money are very much on his mind. 
you know, and I feel like, you know, he, he might be in a situation where money comes in, but it quickly goes out as well. Um, the next two cards that come up for the feminine, we have reach out and rebuild. Now, rebuild um, is the equivalent to the tower. And I feel like, I'm sorry, my dog, I think my dog wants to come in the office and I think that's why he's barking at me, like barking outside. Um, what I'm getting with this, I, I, I'm feeling that many of you might have some sort of connect from your divine masculine. I feel like there's going to be some sort of communication. And it's going to trigger something for you. Um, I don't know how life-changing it's necessarily going to be, but it is going to be, it, at the very least, it's going to trigger a thought process. It's going to be an awakening. It's going to be an epiphany. You're, it's going to get the wheels turning for you. And the, the clarifying card that I pulled here is the Knight of Water. And what I'm getting with this is that this is somebody that you have a romantic connection, an emotional connection with. But I feel like whatever this interaction is, you know, it's going to really cause you to, t you know, not take a step back, but be like, well, I really need to think about this and I need to kind of balance my emotions here. I need to balance um, what, what my reality is with what I desire, uh, what I think I deserve. Like, you're really going to be, you know what, let's not get carried away with anything. Um, you know, and I feel like you know, and, and I'll probably touch on it a little bit more. I feel like whatever this is that happens, I feel like you're going to be like, you know what? I I want more or I, I need more. I deserve more or something like that. The card that comes up here on the masculine side is awaiting results. And so this is partially why I do believe that this is between the masculine and the feminine, this, this communication. Um, you know, and this card's facing in the direction of the feminine. And, you know, they've got their hand on their hip, kind of like, okay, I'm waiting, you know, what's next? And You know, it's almost like if you see the apple that's um, right there, like it's not quite ready. And I feel like it's just not quite the right time. And But I feel like for the masculine, it's like, well, but I, um, they have these, I don't know if you can see those little flowers, like, like I offered you something um, you know, so they feel like they made an offer and now, now they're waiting and, but I feel like for the feminine, it was just kind of like, mm, okay. Like at first the feminine, you know, with the night of water wanted to get all excited and emotional, but then she had some sort of revelation. Something kind of came over her that she's like, mm, is this really what I want? I, th I think I want something different. I think I want something more. And I think that, so with, the, um, with this awaiting results, the cards that come up as clarifiers are the two of earth and the Ace of Air. And what I'm getting with these 
you know, I, I think that there's a couple of things. I think that the feminine maybe doesn't really think that the masculine has made a choice because the two of earth can indicate that you haven't made a choice yet. Uh, but this can also indicate that maybe that the, there's too much seriousness going on and that you need to consider a lighter approach, a more playful approach. And so maybe instead of, you know, standing here with your hand on your hip, staring at the feminine saying like, okay, I'm waiting, you know, lighten it up and try something different. And so then the ace of air, I think is the masculine realizing like, okay, maybe I need to take a different approach. I need to try something new. It's seeing the truth of the situation. Um, it's a new beginning. It's, you know, understanding that, okay, may maybe the same old, same old isn't going to work and I need to try something new and, and being inspired and having, having new ideas of how to interact differently. But the Ace of Air can also indicate that the new beginning may not be easy. And, and I don't know if the Divine Masculine is necessarily going to see that at this point. Um, some might, some might not. And so the Feminine is going to move into a place, or if I can get this card up, healing begins you know so whatever this epiphany whatever she realizes you know maybe I think for a lot of feminine she's gonna have a much more confident approach to what her value is um, and so healing healing begins just another phase of healing and you know, the, the clarifying cards that came up here, we have the Page of Earth. And so, you know, what I'm getting with this is that, you know, this is a, an area that she is focusing on. She is focusing on this new area in her life of healing. You know, she's figured out an area that she needs to focus on. And then we have the Five of Air. And the Five of Air, what I'm getting with this is that, you know, She's not looking at anything in her life that has happened as, you know, as a mistake or, you know, wanting to have done anything differently. She's just looking at this as, okay, what can I learn from this moving forward? What kind of lessons are in this situation? Um, which is, is good. You know, you want to look at this as like, how can I grow from this? For the masculine, two cards came out here. And, you know, and, and I think that he's not going to be able to necessarily jump right into that place of trying a different approach with the feminine. He's going to be, his cards are refusing to see and crown chakra and I feel like you know he's going to have a little bit of he, he's going to be carrying a lot of weight on his shoulders I think um, you know this is something that he's going to need to move through I feel like he maybe is closing himself off to his, you know, to higher self and to his own, into, you know, his own inner self messages, his own intuition, um, you know, because he's discouraged, you know, he's refusing to see how this can work out. He's refusing to see that it's salvageable. He's refusing to see how he can make this better. 
and the clarifying cards we have the ten of fire you know he's stressed out and you know things are things are out of balance and so he's just not he's not seeing things clearly and then the other card that we have is the queen of fire and the queen of fire is you know it's about not underestimating yourself and and that's what he's doing um you know he's kind of you know like he's kind of in a place of defeat when he really doesn't need to be he's the you know like he's accepting defeat before he's been defeated um you know and i think it's just because he's kind of at this moment has kind of like You know, he hasn't really earned anything, but it feels like he has, like he thinks he has. Um, deep down though, he knows he really, really hasn't. So he, he's kind of like having to readjust all of those thoughts within himself. Now, the next cards that come up for the feminine she has daydreams and decisions and she has moving on. And literally, I think what this, you know, what the message here is that, that the feminine needs to move on from this place of the daydreams and decisions. You know, you're going back and forth. You don't know what you want. You know what you want, you don't know what you want to do and you need to move on from that because that, that doesn't get you anything that you desire. Uh, and, you know, how, how do you do that? Clarifying card is the high priestess. Be still. Go within. Spend time in meditation. The answers are going to come to you. Uh, but this is, the high priestess is all about, you know, being patient and, and, you know, be silent, be quiet, be still, don't rush don't feel like you need to make a decision immediately. Just, you know, wait wait for the right timing on things uh, before you take any actions. The next card that comes up for the masculine is trust. And so he is going to move out of that, that defeated space and realize that it's time to take action it's time to move forward it's time to take that leap you know it's time to instead of you know it, it's time to you know jump into things with both feet and see what happens you know and the cards that come up are the knight of air and the ace of water and so the knight of air this is action this is things moving quickly so I feel like, you know, once he makes this decision, he's going to act quickly with it. And the Ace of Water, you know, earlier we had that Ace of Air. This is the opposite. This is the Ace of Water. So we have new beginnings, but new beginnings in love. And so, you know, I feel like he's going to offer his cup to, to the feminine in a way that she is much more open to and happy to accept uh, in a way that is much more fulfilling for, for both of them. The, uh, um, the crowning energy for both twins is sorry i had a notification pop up um is love and detach and you know so this is the equivalent to the lover's card but then you have detach and i feel like you know do you ever hear that old saying if you love something let it go if it comes back to you, it's yours if you know if not, it was never meant to be. Like, I, that's kind of what popped into my head. You know, y your crowning energy is this love card, you know, this coming together. 
um, you know, this union, this, you know, being able to grow in love. But only if you let each other go, if only, only if you set each other free, if you cling to each other, you're not going to be able to do that. And the clarifying card that came up is the Ten of Water. New beginnings, happily ever after, happy family life. Like every, you know, this is like your dreams come true, everything that you could ever want. You know, this is, um, if you watched my reading last week, the clarifying card was the Two of Water. This is the the two of water coming together with the children from the six of water and it's a whole big happy family and it's every it's everything right um you know this is this is trustworthy relationship this is your material needs being met these are your emotional needs being met this is everything but i feel like the the key here is that you are not attached to the outcome you, it this comes when you are not attached to it the grounding energy that you're both coming into and this to me is fascinating because it's the same exact card as last week giving and receiving and so I, I really think that one of the keys for those that are watching this is that you need to be grounded in a balanced giving and receiving you know, putting in the same amount of energy and effort that you are getting back. Don't be putting in 80% when you're getting back 20. Um, you know, maybe there are times when you have established yourselves that, you know, sometimes you put in a little more than they do and sometimes they put in a little more than you do. But that can't be something that's consistently happening. And I feel like there really needs to be a balance um, for you to be able to move through the cycle that you're in at this moment. And the clarifying cards um, here, you know, we have the Eight of Earth. And what I'm getting with the Eight of Earth is focus. Because, you know, this is usually a card about, you know, education, going back to school. But this is a card about studying, about focus. And then the other card is that we have balance. And, you know, we have the two cups from the two of cups. The two of cups from the ten of cups. Um, so it's all kind of connected. So, you know, again, what I was saying about the giving and receiving, you, you need to balance that giving and receiving balance the what you pour from one cup to the other cup you need to balance those things um, you know if, if you don't do that you're, you're really going to have a challenge with moving forward with this the underlying energy for the feminine we have coming together so you know there's a, that's definitely something that the feminine has on her mind is coming together but I think not just with the masculine she's wanting to come together into union with herself you know the, fo the focusing the effort on herself and healing herself but then she also has third eye chakra which is you know sh there's a focus for her to to want to see the truth seek the truth and you know she wants to figure out what's going on and then the underlying energy for the masculine is seek the truth. And I think it's really interesting how you're mirroring each other with that. You're both, um, your grounding energy is seeking the truth, trying to see the truth, find the truth. Um, you know, and, and that's something really important to keep in mind that no matter what things look like, that you're both you both want the truth, you know, at the end of the day, that that's something that you are both really wanting. The Oracle card that I pulled for this reading is Creatrix. And I'm gonna read the meaning of that to you. Your soul is a divine creative fire. She wants to break free from what 
has been and give life to something new. You may experience this as feelings of restlessness, of being confined, or as a craving for something more that you cannot quite articulate. Your soul doesn't want you to push that new life away. She wants you to embrace it. When you let go your inhibitions and when you let go your inhibitions and freely express yourself, stagnant situations will be cleared out by the powerful release of your energy, which creates openness. Let your inner artist out play, to play in whatever way feels fun, raw, and honest for you. It's time for you to experience something new. This, I feel like this oracle card is really describing what the Divine Feminine is going to be experiencing. Wherever it is where she has this epiphany and I feel like it's going to be some sort of, you know what, I don't want to keep repeating the same cycle over and over again and I'm going to break free of this cycle. So um, I'm definitely interested to hear, uh, you know, kind of what transpires for you um, in regards to this reading. There's a lot of energies that are similar from last week, but there is a more of a forward movement um, with this reading. So I feel like there's a lot of carryover, but you know, it's moving forward more um, for both parties. Um, you know, and I really do love that there is still this forward movement and, and growth happening. So, um, you know, keep on working on yourselves and work on that balance and the giving and receiving is, is what I've got for you guys. So I hope that this reading was helpful for you. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who watches my videos, who likes, subscribes, um, comments, sends emails. Um, I read all of them. Um, thank you so much. Um, if you would like to subscribe, there should be a little button popping up right over here, right about now. Um, just hit the button to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, when I hit 2,000 subscribers, I will be um, having a contest to give away a free Skype reading with me. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, that's all I've got for today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. If you want to know how you can get a hold of me to contact me or to get your own personal reading, um, check out all of my contact information in the description box below. Um, I will see you guys when I upload my next video. I will see you soon. Take care.